All right, guys, different type of video here. Snow. Big blue vehicle. So this is a Zamboni Model 500. This is an interesting machine. I'm going to go over and tell, tell you how she works. If we go to the back, see the fuel source. Two, come two, one, two LP tanks. Now, you might be wondering why two. Well, the answer is, while you're on the ice, you're able to switch tanks in case if one runs out. She's a little dirty, she's a beater. Now, where the fuel goes is up front to this wonderful Volkswagen 1.2 liter propane engine. It's got an air filter here. I'm surprised it didn't go for a K&N. Anything besides a K&N or an Amazon special is just expensive and a piece of crap. Uh, battery. It needs electricity. Then if you look what's coupled to the to the engine here, you'll see that's got a pump. Believe it or not, all these wheels are not connected to the engine. It's, it's a four-wheel drive system all over hydraulic motors. So it all runs off of this pump right here. It's kind of warm, so it's just out on a run. Now the hydraulics also run a variety of things. If we go around, this is the conditioner. The conditioner can be raised or lowered. Right now it's raised because it's not on the ice, but during a run, it would be dropped down. And what a Zamboni does is it removes ice and it puts down ice. How it removes ice. Oh, there's still some crap in here. Um, if you look right. You'll see that blade that scrapes the ice that's adjusted by this little doohickey here. So it scrapes the ice in this auger system. It's got two augers. This one, it moves ice like this. I don't know what direction it actually spins in, but feeds to another auger which comes up. Right there, and it dumps it into that snow tank, which is raised because you know, got, got to get rid of the, the snow somehow. On all four corners, there are studded tires, however, some of the studs are kind of going out on this model. Oh, there's one that's completely ripped out. She's a beater. 20 years old. She's a beater. Now, if you look over here, this is the board brush. This is for making contacts along the boards and just, just kind of spins, moves it so it's in range the conditioner, which then it gets part of the third auger system. Now, how it makes ice is if we go over here see that there's a filling port for hot water the hot water gets put in this massive tank it's a little bit wet in there right now now this tank goes around to this pipe which has a valve on it now this valve it's the most commonly used valve on the Zam Open, closed, open, closed. In the corners, you want to shut that off. Let's see what it looks like when it's turned on. So you got the hot water going down, melting the, the top layer of the ice. And after that, you got this nice rag to smooth it out. I froze one of these in during training, it wasn't fun. That, which brings it to another point, you never want to stop on the ice because one, that rag, 
too, if you stop with your water on, you're going to melt right through the ice. This is where, where things get inter really interesting. There's a tank up here for what, what's called the wash water. Oh, that's, that's the exhaust. That's, that's pretty warm. But if you look in there, you'll see that, that, that it is indeed a tank and it holds cold water. Now the cold water is, is there any in the tank right now? Awesome. Since this is raised up, I can show you what it does. Kind of creates a little jet right there. There's a little rubber, little rubber boy, right about here on the conditioner that holds the water in. Then it gets all sucked up by this pump right here back into the wash water tank, into this filter here. They actually put a new filter on this. This company is known for slacking on maintenance that, that I'm working for right now. That is the basic operate, well that is the basics of a Zamboni. Let's go over some of the controls. So sitting in the driver's seat, got a couple gauges on this Zam. This gauge works. This gauge doesn't work. This gauge doesn't work. This gauge works. This gauge works. And this gauge works. And this one works. That's your hour meter. That's how you... Well, equipment isn't expressed in miles. It's that they use hours to determine where. Got your fuel light here. When this sucker is on, you better be reaching for this valve because you have about... 20 seconds before you run out of fuel completely and the engine cuts out. Got your warning lights and the pump that I was talking about earlier is located right here. Board brush switch for the solenoid, lights, and the horn. Yes, these do have horns in there. Pretty cool. Oh, and your suicide knob. Can't forget about that. That is the basic tour of the Zamboni. Oh, wait, never mind. A couple more things. This is the Go Fast pedal. You barely need to use this because, like I was saying, that the hydraulic drive makes it so when you lift your foot off of here, it doesn't coast. It comes to a dead stop. Um, this used to be the old throttle position, but then we updated to this little rocker boy right here for, for rip-ems. Then direction selector. If you don't know what this does, you're fucking retarded. Your auger controls two-way valves, but you can't actuate, actuate it the other way without taking that nut off, rotating it that way, then pushing it forward. The only time you do that if something was jammed, the lever for your conditioner, and the lever for the bucket. The bucket will actually lower when the engine's turned off. And here. This is where the snow goes. It's a pretty exciting box. All right, I think that finally wraps everything up. I hope you're having a good day, and we're also at the 10 minute mark for ad rev, so. Here's 10 seconds of the hood. Also, that's zero turn.
and the fire hose. And that little doohickey. Okay. Enough time has elapsed for the ad rev. Have a nice day. Bye.